Today we are going to be riding to the longest beach on the planet. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 225 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. And we are here in the town of Sao Jose do Norte. We're just hiding behind the bike because of the wind, but we're in this field in the middle of town. Some horses behind. They were our companions in the night. Very cute. We asked the guys at the police station just behind us yesterday and they said it was absolutely fine for us to just camp here in the middle of town. So it's Thanks awesome. Thanks so much. <laughs> it was really, really nice and a quiet night. But we've got an exciting day for our last ride in Brazil. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here in São José do Norte. And today we are going to be taking a ferry across the Rio Grande River to Rio Grande, heading slightly across to the town of Casino, where the longest beach in the world is, before making our way down the coast all the way to the bottom, just before the edge of the map and the border of Uruguay. Yeah, super exciting to see the beach, definitely, as the longest beach on this planet. Absolutely crazy. So we have about 150 miles today and it's already 7.20. We're thinking that the ferry is leaving at eight o'clock, but we have to check out that now. So better hit the road, let's go. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can pick it up. Okay. <sighs> yeah, all right. So this grass that we camped on yesterday is very, very sandy grass. Look at that, it's a bit deep here. Oh yeah. A little bit soft. <laughs> nice. There's the police station, the lovely police that let us camp. Obrigado. Ready to rock and roll, hey? Ready. Let's do it. Oh. So I think it's only a mile or so to get over to the ferry port. We read online that the ferry has three sailings. Uh, the first one is at eight and the next one isn't until one. So if we miss the eight o'clock one, then uh, we would have to wait quite a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, looks like a really cute place here though. I mean, of course, the roads are again very nice and bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that town we were in yesterday where we had lunch, Tavares. They have all got this main street and the buildings are quite charming, aren't they? According to the GPS, it's down here. Let's see. Oh, maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's here actually. Okay, so I think this is the ferry in front. And there's a couple of motorcycles here at the front, so I'll just go with them. Yeah. A bilhetera. É só aguardar aqui, tá? Pagamento cartão. Aceita cartão. Yeah. Okay. Ah, obrigada. <laughs> Bom dia. Bom dia. Um, cilindra, dos cilindra, dos cilindra, mil cinquenta cc. Isso aqui é cinquentinha. Cinquentinha. Uh, I think fifty cc. Swap. <laughs> So all these cars are trying to get onto the ferry, but they're all like these lowered cars. Look how low this car is. And the last one, he could hardly get up because he was hitting the middle of the car on the edge of the ferry. What about this guy? Look. Definitely hitting something underneath. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know why these guys all lowered their cars so much. I have no idea. No, he doesn't have any. Oh. Oh. Do you hear that? <laughs> oh my lord. All of them are like going up the ramp and then they're like dunk. All of them. Oh my lord. It's okay? <laughs> How close? Wow, that's crazy that nearly every car that was waiting has managed to get on this ferry. Wow. Wow, how's that possible? The last! <laughs> in a corn. All good? All right, we're going. We are going. We always have so much time on the ferries and then it's always a massive rush as soon as it's like, oh, they're quickly, they're going. <laughs> Time to pick up the hitchhiker. Awesome, so we have arrived in Rio Grande. Huh? Wow, and it looks actually very historic here. Yeah, you can see the buildings, the wow. architecture. Wow, it looks amazing. Look at that. Cool. Oh, I think we'll just fuel up. Yes. Who <laughs> ain't a commune? Uh, come on. Okay. Completar, obrigado. Uh, gasolina commune, si. Sí. Obrigada, obrigada. That was twelve pounds forty for the full tank. That is crazy. What a good price, man. What a good price. Wow. So just check out quick the cathedral here because yeah. it looks really stunning. Oh, the streets are nice and empty because it's a Sunday. Yeah, and it's uh, still not even 9 a.m. Look at this. Wow. Whoa. Cool. Yeah, beautiful old streets in this town. It's a big place as well. It's a really big place. So Rio Grande means actually a great river. The river that we just crossed. <laughs> yes, exactly. And it's one of the oldest cities here in the Brazilian state of Rio Grande do Sul. Yeah, this city was actually the state capital between 1835 and 1845. And is still one of the most important port cities in the state and in Brazil. So there's a lot of history here in Rio Grande. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it in the buildings. It's really cool. But so we are heading out of this city and over to a neighboring city called Casino. And there we can visit the longest beach in the world. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's epic, man. So we're coming into the town Casino 
Now the longest beach in the world is called Praia do Casino. So the beach actually takes its name from the town. And the town is named Casino because back in the day there was a lot of casinos here. This is one of the first tourist towns in Brazil and in the late 1800s a lot of people came here and people used to come here to gamble. Everything went downhill when they actually banned roulette. I think that was in the 40s or the 50s or the 60s and uh, so once people couldn't come here to gamble anymore it was just like wah 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 <laughs> but maybe nobody realized back then that they actually have the longest beach in the world right in front of them so now casino is well known for a different reason very interesting <laughs> a little bit of history on the bike ollie's history lessons so it looks like the beach is actually coming up pretty quickly you can see it up ahead let's see how far we can get with our little boat bumblebee it looks like it's right in front but let's go around here and see where we can get Oh, no way, look. Wow. It looks like we might be able to ride right onto it. <laughs> the sand is pretty compact, actually. Cool. Let me just check this out. No way. I think we can ride on the longest beach in the world. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> here it is. Wow, how cool is that? Look how many cars here. The longest beach on the planet. Playa de Casino! <laughs> wow! <laughs> cool! Let me just go across, yeah. Oh, the sand is actually very, very compact. It's like riding on tarmac. Amazing! Oh, no way! It's amazing! I did not expect it to be that easy to just come here and ride. <laughs> oh my god that's absolutely amazing isn't it look at that you just have to look out for the dry sand which i can see in front this part <laughs> because we are going to slip about if we hit that cool absolutely awesome so this beach is 158 miles long, 250 kilometers. Like we said before, the longest beach in the world by far. And it's only broken at the border of Uruguay where it's intersected by the Choi stream that marks the border between the two countries. So pretty much the beach runs from the Rio Grande River unbroken all the way to the Choi stream 158 miles later they actually hold an ultra marathon race on this beach where they run the entire length so that's kind of crazy i wouldn't run it but i would certainly ride it <laughs> cool what a place eh yeah absolutely what a place we just got to be careful for sand castles bloody kids <laughs> well, there he is, the culprit. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Wow.
Another motorcycle on the beach. <laughs> awesome. Nice. It's awesome. Yeah, it's absolutely magical. We've passed pretty much all the cars now and it's just just us and the beach. <laughs> cool. Oh my lord. Let's check that out. Okay, let's go check that out. So look at this. It's a carcass of a dolphin, a little dolphin. Whoa. Oh my lord. Whoa. He doesn't really smell, hey? No, I think it's quite fresh probably. I think it's to log that they've seen it. Oh, okay. Wow. How strict are we with the vegetarian thing? Because this is quite fresh. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Look at this. Totally alone. Wow. Whoa, look at this up ahead. A shipwreck. Cool. Shipwreck on the beach. That's pretty cool. That is so cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> nice. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> awesome. That's a really, really, really degraded ship though. Look at that. Wow. It's like barely anything left. <laughs> Barely anything left. Awesome. Yeah, I think uh, probably this is as far as we go on the beach, eh? Yes. It was cool enough that we could ride on the beach anyway. Like, I didn't really expect that. No, I didn't know if we would be able to get on either. And it was just so easy in the end. So it's amazing. <laughs> but I think it's time for us to turn around and make our way back. Apparently it is possible to ride all the way down to the border of Uruguay the whole like 158 miles but we are very inexperienced sand riders yeah absolutely and the bike is very very heavy so we don't really want to risk it to get stuck halfway through we don't know about the tides and we don't know like any conditions here so yeah and according to the map from what i looked it's like there's not many options to escape the beach after casino at the beginning so if you had some problems we would be quite stuck <laughs> yes so for now i'm really happy that we could ride on it for 10 15 miles we could check it out a little bit uh, that's really cool yeah, how unbelievable. Riding on the longest beach in the world, it's amazing. Very cool, a very cool experience. We're coming back to the beginning yeah. of the beach now at Casino. And look, everyone's having a barbecue and a chill. Yeah, you can really smell like the meat. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit soft. Oh my god. <laughs> Whee! Yeah! But it's amazing because the darker sand is so nice to ride on. Just when we see like the lighter patches, we are like, oh my god, we have to stop. <laughs> Slow down. They say that the faster you ride on the sand, the easier it is. But I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit scary to ride on the soft sand at a fast speed, I tell you. But this is lovely. Wow, now it's packed with people here. Yeah, but I think for us, this is the end of our experience on Praia do Casino. Goodbye, Praia. Goodbye, Praia.
Wow, what an incredible experience, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's really cool. It's not every day that you get to ride on a beach and the longest beach in the world. What a day. <laughs> what a day. Just stopping here in Casino at the Padaria. Hopefully we can find something cheesy. Yes, please. <laughs> Let's check it out. Let's have a look. Not sure this is vegetarian. These might be vegetarian. Hmm. Uh, queijo. Well, uh, this one queijo or uh, carne? Oh, todo is, is uh, uh, with carne. Uh, Paul the queijo vegetariano. <laughs> okay. Six pounds of queijo. Uh, cuatro. This. It's a. Obrigada. No, obrigada. All right. I found some cheese balls okay. and some donuts. There wasn't that much choice for vegetarians, unfortunately. So this is all I could find. I wanted the cheese pasties. Uh, hey, how's that? Very good. So we're just leaving Casino and we've actually routed to a small town which is just before the border to Uruguay. So it's 137 miles to get over to this town and we've checked on iOverlander and it, it seems that you can pitch up a tent at the petrol station in that town and apparently they have free Wi-Fi and a free hot shower. <laughs> I'm really really excited to see if this is real or not. <laughs> <laughs> and this will be our last ride in Brazil because tomorrow It'll only be a short ride and then we'll be crossing over the border to Uruguay. Yes! Country number eight! Oh yes! Oh my god guys! Look how many capybara there are here! <laughs> how oh. cute! Oh my god this is like a capybara paradise! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like hundreds! Oh my god! Just absolutely hundreds! And look, this one on the beach over there. There's one on the beach. He's the one swimming, and there's one in the mud. Oh my god! Look at them! <laughs> hundreds! Oh my god! Just hundreds! They're just relaxing. They are just having a good time, aren't they? Wow! Beautiful creatures. Wow, and there in the field as well. Look, and there in the field. <laughs> are they farming them here? I, those are sheep in the background, no? Oh, and then there on this side as well, look. He's walking. <gasps> oh, wow. What a life, hey? Man, these guys know how to live, hey? It looks like it. It looks like it. Such a nice, calm animal. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen such a relaxed animal in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to come back as anything, hopefully it would be one of these guys. <laughs> Awesome. Bye bye guys. Yeah, we read actually on a sign that this one here is a 17 kilometers long stretch of uh, protected area. Yeah, it's just a huge amount of wetlands. I don't know if you can see in the background here, some lagoons. And if you can see on my Garmin here in front, but huge lagoon here. I mean, that's massive. So this whole area, oh my Lord, it is just capybara all the way along wow and then in the field as well <laughs> and taking over the farmer's field 
cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love seeing those guys. This is like the capybara stretch of Brazil. Wait a second. I think you have to turn around. Maybe there was a either a crocodile or alligator. No. Yes, 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 Are you yes, yes. Me? No. Are you actually kidding me? Okay, I will turn around for that. Okay, go slow. A little bit further. Oh my god, it is an alligator. Wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. This is a safari now. <laughs> oh, that is massive. How did you spot that? Okay, so maybe the capybaras don't have such a good life after all. <laughs> capybaras on the right and alligators on the left. <laughs> yes, that's absolutely magical. So after a few, few hours, on a very, very long straight road. We are finally arriving in this town, which is called Santa Vittoria do Palma. So it's a uh, quarter to five now. So it's time for us to head to this place and see if we can actually pitch up our tent there. And I think it is just this petrol station in front. Bon dia, bon dia, tudo bem? Gasolina original uh, completa. No. Obrigado. Are you sure it's this one? Let me check on my phone. Uh, I didn't save it, unfortunately. I didn't even screenshot it. Oh, okay. And I, okay. Maybe if you translate that. Okay. Uh, yeah, see, sí, bon. Possible. Obrigado. Yeah, yeah. To camp here at the. Somewhere here. Petro. E possible acampa um algum lugar aqui, aqui? yeah aqui. aqui no no aqui we are just looking for a place here in town to camp and then we will cross the border to uruguay tomorrow uh -huh. Uh -huh. here is only a hotel ah they said here is only a hotel so i think we could have a drive around and see so we had a check on iOverlander, checked out a couple of spots, but there was nothing really going in this town, unfortunately. So we've seen a truck stop a couple of miles out of town that's listed on iOverlander. So we're going to go and see how it is over there. All right, we're going to ask at Posto Aberto if there's a place for us to pitch our tent. Look, there's some grass. I mean, look, they have a big yard. Let's check it out. Okay, so he says, he says we could camp on the grass over here. Okay. Or we could camp over here. Right. Okay, let's see if we can find a flat spot of grass, shall we? Oli found a new friend. He's a very nice dog, aren't you? Are you a very nice dog? Are you a very nice dog? Very nice dog. Good evening guys! We made it! Happy and alive! Whee! Yes! Another free place to pitch our tent! How awesome is that? It might not be the flattest, best bit of grass in the world, but it's free, it's here and it's perfect. It was a really, really awesome day today, seeing the largest beat on our planet and not just seeing it, riding it as well. It was absolutely epic. I didn't realize that we would get to do that actually, so that was an amazing surprise. And then to see a shipwreck, 
that was really really cool and then an unexpected safari on the way over to here yeah we did at the end about 190 miles which is about 250 kilometers so a pretty good ride tomorrow morning we will cross into Uruguay because we are very close to the border now which will be awesome I'm super excited about that yes Woo! so that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time Oh no! Too much wind. So the owner said that there's rain coming tonight and he's advised that we put our tent under a canopy which is over there. So that's really nice of him to warn us. So we're going to move everything over to there instead. Home sweet home. This might be a one way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is a one way. Ah, I was getting used to the beach mentality. No lanes, just go wherever you want.